Hello, this is Mr. Stewart. This is lecture one. Today we will be doing alternate packet four, sheet A, number one. And this is the question. The employees were looking at their debts. Gomez is in $143 of debt. Cole has $203 of debt. Ford has $178 of debt. Simpson has a positive bank balance of $350. Who owes the most money? Okay, so you have that there. All right, so let's take a look at our question. First, you're going to start with the number line. And here we have the number line. It starts at zero, and I did it by 50s. So 50, 100, so forth, all the way up to 350. And then on the left side, that's the right, the right, the right side is positive. Now on the left side is negatives. So negative 50, negative 100 starts at negative 50, and then to the left it goes negative 100, so forth, all the way to negative 350. Okay, so what I did is I labeled on the number line what each person where each person is on the number line so Gomez is in $143 of debt so that means he's at negative 143 okay Ford is at neg is at $178 of debt so that means he's at negative 178 and Cole is at negative $203 of debt So, he's at negative 203, okay? Now, we go to the right, and we see here that Simpson, says in our question that Simpson had a positive bank balance of $350. So, that means that he's, on, he's in the positive at $350, okay? So, our question was, who, owe, who, owes, the, who owes the most money, Okay? So the answer is Cole at negative 203, all right? He owes the most money. He's, he's furthest to the left of zero. He's furthest away from zero because this is, all right, we said here before, absolute value. These are absolute value word problems, okay? Real world word problems, okay? So he's, he's furthest from zero on the left-hand side, okay? Simpson is furthest away from zero overall. His absolute value is the highest. But it asks who owes the most money, all right? So we're looking at the left side of the number line. So in this case, as we said, Cole is at negative 203. He owes the most money. 